Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sign It Television. Now last weekend we put a video up that happened to show a 2015 Dodge Charger all-wheel drive which turned out to be a somewhat hybrid. In other words, it was a 2014 masquerading as a 2015 and a lot of you took the opportunity to uh, come online and go online and jump up and down online and tell us it's a 2014 and not a 2015. Well, it kind of was a 2015 in the sense in the door jam it said 2015, so that's how we put it up. Now, we're in for a bit of a treat because I have sent our young Marco Polo, aka Chris, out on location to take a look at the building of a 2015 all-wheel drive Dodge Charger. I promise you, it is a 2015 because we're going to go live from the studio to Chris out in the field. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. I'm here at Star Cars with a brand new project that the guys are working very hard on. It's a 2015 Dodge Charger. It's getting set up for patrol use here in the Northwest. The vehicle itself, as you can see, is the new redesigned body style, so different from what you're used to seeing from us here at Sirenet and our friends at Star Car. We're gonna show you the build of this new vehicle. It's getting a variety of lighting and interior equipment, components from Whelan, Soundoff, Phoenix, Gamber Johnson, and Satina, amongst a few other pieces that'll be going in the car. So stay tuned with us here as we take you through the build and show you the finished vehicle, its final outcome, and the functions of the vehicle with the product that we've used, the LED lighting and siren system, and also the interior components related to electronic storage and prisoner transportation. Another day here at Star Cars and the Dodge Charger project moving along wonderfully. On the roof, a 48 inch Liberty II full LED light bar. On the rear deck, a pair of sound off tri-color Enforce lights. And as we move down to the back on the tail light assembly of the car, the gang is going to be installing a ULF 44 LED flasher module from Whelan and that will allow the car's full LED parking light package to be utilized as a flasher. A Unity Spotlight has been installed on the A-pillar and for adding additional illumination in an LED spec, our SN SL1 2 degree PAR46 Spotlight has been installed into it. The inside of the car disassembled as needed. This allows for preparation of wiring to the rear power distribution, running wiring for the electronics that will be mounted in the front console, equipment to the front of the vehicle as well relating to the siren speaker. Also with the seats removed and the back seat removed, this allows for preparation for installing the rear prisoner transportation seat and the Satina front partition. Mounted center behind the front grille, an SA315P 100 watt speaker has been installed by the Star Cars crew. On the front of the Charger, Phoenix Cannons are also going to adorn the front bumper. They're going to use the surface mount bezel. One will be affixed onto the passenger side of the bumper 
one to the driver's side alike. They'll offer front protection as well as intersection protection for the lighting package on the vehicle. We've shown you the build of this 2015 Dodge Charger. Came in as a stock bodied platform. The gang here at Star Cars has worked very hard doing a wonderful installation of the products around it. So join me, we'll take you around the car and show you the outcome. The 48 inch Whelan Liberty 2 LED light bar adorned to the roof of the Charger. Nice and bright it is, reds and blues. Flashing takedowns and alleys as well, keeping the car nice and bright. They also have the standard illumination function, i.e. a steady burn. Alleys can be controlled independently for illumination on the sides of the car. And when on a traffic stop or conducting the services that this car will do in the nighttime, the takedowns can be set to a steady burn as well for a nice bright array of white to the front of the car. As you look at the front of the car, you'll notice we have two different arrays of lights. The LED headlight flasher is actually something that's provided by Dodge on the police package vehicle. And with 2015, this has actually become an LED array. To add additional lighting to the front of the car and for intersection protection, the Phoenix Cannon LED hideaway has been used. Now, it can be installed as a hideaway in your headlight or your taillight assembly. It also includes the surface mount bezel that was used for affixing it onto the sides of the bumper. The Phoenix Cannon is a multi-function product. As you can see, two colors flashing away, nice and bright. Something else that we've done with it by activating another trigger wire in its mode setting is that we've taken the fender mounted cannons and we've used them as additional left and right alley lights for the charger. So go ahead, take a look, give you a better demonstration of what I'm talking about. So when we activate the alley button on the controller, be it the left or the right, the cannon will activate into a white as well. Affixed inside on the rear deck, N-Force lights from sound off signal fit wonderfully against the rear windscreen. Red, blue, and white, very nice and bright, providing wonderful warning to the rear of the car. On the tail light array, two different functions have been used. One, Starcars has activated the OEM tail light flasher. That's going to be what you're seeing here, the wigwag between the brake lights back and forth. As you can see, surrounding that is a full LED array. It's a factory component parking light function. Using the ULF44 from Wheelan Engineering, Starcars has wired the module into the rest of the LED array here to create the large red flashing expanse that you can see. For low level lighting on the rear of the charger, again, we've used the Phoenix cannons. Dual colors, red, white, blue, and white. Starcars has taken a bracket that we offer at Sirenet for several of our LED surface mount light heads. And the bracket itself has been modified from its original lights to adapt the cannons onto it for the nice clean installation that you see here. In the rear of the car, an ADEC transportation seat has been installed, taking place of what once was an OEM fabric seat. For dividing the rear area and the front area of the car, a Satina partition has been wonderfully installed Scratch resistant, one piece clear polycarbonate window. Center recessed panel, which allows for more room on the driver area for the weapon mount system. In the equipment console, a Whelan 295 SD A1 controller has been nicely installed. This is what activates the car's lighting system and siren tones. Push buttons for activating the different features of the light bar progressive slide switch for lighting up the system, and push buttons for activating the siren tones and radio rebroadcast. Weapon mount system happens to be a dual T-rail from Satina, adjustable locks for multiple weapons, butt plates mounted low on the rail system, 
Nice thing with the partition having the recess panel, the weapon mount system can actually be mounted rearward of the passenger and the driver's seats, increasing the elbow room. It's been a wonderful project. The 2015 Dodge Charger, put together by our friends here at Star Cars. A variety of warning equipment has been installed into it to take it from once was a trim factory vehicle into the law enforcement package that you see here. Thank you very much for joining us on SirenNet Television. Stuart, I'll see you back in the studio. Well, thanks, Chris. Greatly appreciate that nice video. Great work by the gang as well over at Star Car. The vehicle, of course, itself was a Yamhill 2015 Sheriff's Department all-wheel drive Dodge Charger, as you saw. I'm Stuart. Many thanks for watching Sign Up Television. And as always, keep sending in those little tidbits of how we're doing and how we're not doing. We greatly appreciate it. Have a good one.